This video is a lot more triggering than any of my other videos. If animal abuse, talk and promotion of self-harm, necrophilia, cannibalism, people claiming they're some sort of god, cult-related things, zoophilia, and toxicity in general upset you, then this may not be the video for you. There's a serious amount of cult talk, self-harm promotion, talk of suicide plans, and grooming of minors. If any of these are a trigger to you, seriously, do not watch this video. Finally, if you're eating, click off this damn video. The video will still be here, you can come back and watch it after you're done eating. Hello everyone, it's Roman. I was scrolling through the comments on one of my recent videos and I noticed a video request. It was about a super serious topic too, animal abuse. I told the person I likely wouldn't look into it myself, but pass it over for someone else to make a video on. I decided to check it out anyways, and boy did I find a rabbit hole. I did a bit of looking around before I contacted the user in question, Mortis, and I saw people claiming a few other things as well, that Mortis supports self-harm and animal abuse. These subjects are not to be thrown around lightly, so I of course DM'd the person and asked for their side. I expected them to say something along the lines of, oh those are just some trolls, of course I don't actually support those things. But instead, well, let me just show you what the conversation was. Hello! Someone has told me that you're promoting animal abuse? I did a quick search on your profile and could only find one thing relating to that. I have, however, found something that appears to be some pro-shipping? I wanted to bring it up with you in case anything here is wrong. Screenshot in question, by the way. Definitely. If you don't like that, you can leave. You support animal abuse? Why are you asking this stuff if you're just gonna be sensitive about it? I mean, I'm not affected by animal abuse, lol. Excuse me? I'm just trying to clarify that you support abusing animals. Yes, correct. Okay. Guessing that means you support self-harm is true as well? Absolutely. I don't support these. I tolerate them. Alrighty. Uh, thanks for your time, I guess. You're welcome. Please stop being a little bitch about this. Your art looks genuinely bad. Thanks. Also, while Mortis is apparently autistic, he uses a slur in an ableist manner, implying autism and being autistic is bad, when it absolutely isn't. Just wanted to add that in there real quick. They literally and quite proudly said that they support animal abuse and self-harm. This may seem bad now, but trust me, it's much worse than you can imagine. It's also not a huge leap to guess that they may be a pro-shipper, aka someone who ships incest, pedophilia, or bestiality, as long as it's fictional or uses fictional adaptations of real people. And the cherry on top? The Arsler. I also have found one of Mortis's alt accounts. It's known as their quote, self-harm account. It would of course be an account dedicated to showing and romanticizing their self-harm wounds. I say would, because there's thankfully none shown, and it's very inactive. Also, on their YouTube channel, they have tons of gore events showing off their self-harm drawings. Now, this would be okay if they put a trigger warning. They of course don't. And no, just putting vempt in the title doesn't qualify as a self-harm warning. People aren't psychic, they can't guess that in the video there's depictions of self-harm. Now, all of this would be terrible on its own, but the thing is, this person has quite the influence on others, and is able to spread these nasty thoughts and ideologies with others. Let me explain. Mortis happens to run a cult. No, I'm not exaggerating at all, this person is literally a cult leader. They have a quote, organization, a family. However, they didn't keep up this act for long and just started to call it like it is, a cult. Now, I tried to figure out what the cult was about, but it didn't go very well. I wasn't able to figure anything out. Well, other than the public stuff. And the public stuff is enough for me to write a 10-page essay on these people. Let's get into DICE, this weird cult run by a weird child. A good starting point for looking into this group is their Instagram account, simply called DICE Org. Looking at the bio, the first thing we see is the tags of the two leaders, Mortis and their friend, who I won't be talking about today, but just know they're very similar to Mortis in posting red aesthetic shit and lots of gore and self-harm art. The second line is instructing the reader to look through their highlights. There are quite a few of these too. No, I won't have you have to deal with 2 million highlights in this video, so I just picked out the important stuff. Next, they're just saying that members are allowed to link the account in their bios. I'm not sure why anyone would want to, but whatever. Fourth, simply signing off as 2051. That number will come up very often, and before you ask, 
sorry, but I'm not too sure what it means. I asked my source, and they simply said it's a code that means dice. Other than that, we aren't sure. Final line is a card link that we'll get back to in a second. Let's look at the posts on the account. There are only two videos, so I'll screen record and show them here. Now, there isn't anything too bad about this. Is it suspicious? Yes. Concerning? Not quite. However, the next video is much, much worse. two huge red flags. First of all, they have a safe space for age aggressors. Now keep in mind, I'm not speaking about the people who will go into a safe, private area to try and cope by playing the role of someone younger. I'm not very knowledgeable on it, but it can be used in therapy as a way to cope with trauma. I'm talking about the age aggressors who are just pedophiles and child predators using a fake age so they can groom, manipulate, and abuse children. These are the kinds of people who this area is catering to. This cult is publicly broadcasting that they not only allow, but cater to these types of predators. Once again, not targeting people who use age regression as a coping in private and safe areas. I'm targeting predators who do this online, publicly, to try and harm kids. Next red flag, they have a chat dedicated to self-harm. Now, to any devil's advocates out there saying, well maybe this is a chat where they vent about feelings and help each other cope. And while there's a small, small fraction of a chance that is possible, it is incredibly likely that that's not what it is. Even if it is, labeling it as a self-harm chat is going to do nothing but harm people who get triggered by self-harm. It's very likely this is an area to post images of your self-harm. Mortis has even said he thinks when people self-harm it's quote-unquote hot, so it's likely he made this chat for him to get off on people who are being encouraged to hurt themselves. Remember that card we were talking about earlier? Let's go look at that now. Now, the card has a handful of links. In order, the links are rules, FAQ, other platforms, application section, merch, and staff. Let's look at them in order, starting with the rules. Rule one, respect your leaders and each other. If you disrespect a leader, you may get kicked from dice or get a warning. Now, this isn't a huge deal. Most servers have a rule of not disrespecting mods, admins, or owners, so there's no problems there. Rule two, don't be too rude to each other unless you know they are okay with it, as it could upset them even if it's a joke. Wow, a rule that I actually have no problem with on its own. The fact that it's connected to a cult is really the only problem I have with it. Rule number three, add trigger warnings when mentioning something triggering in regular chats. Please use trigger warnings for any content involving dogs. A bit nitpicky on my part, but the fact that I'd have to spoiler a picture of my dog but they have self-harm chats is a bit weird. She's just a little opso opso baby, she's not scary at all. Rule number four, listen to your leaders, they know what's best, smiley face. 
Well, if that isn't a manipulative abuse of power, I don't know what is. Rule number five, be dedicated to dice. Being in cults while in dice is a big no-no. Now, to anyone who's still on the fence that this isn't a cult, this is a smoking gun that it is. Be dedicated. Well, that's predatory as hell. Rule number six, if you decide you want to leave, please tell the leader and the reason why. Now, honestly, there's not really a problem with this, but for some reason, it just gives me a bit of a bad vibe. Rule number seven, have fun and be active. It's a cult. I'm not sure how fun those things are. Next is their FAQ. First question is what is DICE? And the answer is a family. If you are a nerd who binge true crime and cult documentaries, the cults are often considered families, and this is how they learn their victims. This seems to be exactly what DICE is doing. Second question is asking what graffiti members should do for DICE, and the answer is just a bunch of stupid stuff that you should write on walls. Third question is a huge issue. The question is if a member could self-harm themselves and carve the symbol of DICE into their own skin. The answer, instead of saying the asker should get therapy and support, say that they're okay with it. They have a shitty little disclaimer saying they're not encouraging it, but that doesn't mean these disgusting people are any less wrong. Next question is if the reader is allowed to make art for the cult, and the answer is enthusiastically yes. Final question is just asking how to get into the chats, and the answer is to just DM a mod because they're nerds and don't know how to use a verification system. The next link is to their other platforms, being their YouTube, Instagram, Kuo, which is some weird anonymous Q&A site, their PayPal, Discord, Redbubble, and Twitter. This video is long enough, so I won't be looking into these. The link after that is their merch shop. Yes, apparently this cult has a merch shop. Literally nothing interesting there. The final link is their staff members. I cannot stress this enough, but please block every one of these people. I will also be linking this part in the description so you can block these people on their Instagrams. If you don't use Instagram, then for the most part you'll be okay. Now the biggest issue with this cult is that it's clearly full of minors. This entire group is made up of minors struggling with their mental health, who were manipulated into here due to the promise of family and friends. Many members have said terrible things such as how they pray to the leader, wanting to be raped or rape people, and how they have self-harmed for this cult. That's actually why I'm making this video, in hopes to help any people watching this to realize that if you're in a dark place right now, going into something like this would not help you, but push you further and further into this dark place. What you need to do is try and reach out for help, whether from guardians, teachers, friends, or online groups. If possible, attempt to get therapy and medication, as it can greatly help you, and you will end up feeling better eventually. Just please do not make drastic choices like joining fucking cults. That's all I can say about this cult for the time being. As I said, I couldn't get into their Discord server, so there's likely a lot more beneath the surface that we simply can't see. Let's de-escalate this video by talking about how their art looks like bobblehead figures, instead of the previous dark subjects. Just kidding, let's talk about how this person is a fucking necrophile. To anyone who was blessed enough to not know what a necrophile is, I envy you. A necrophile is a person who is sexually attracted to corpses. No, I'm not joking, Mortis is into dead bodies. This was on their public story, and all the scribbled out read was... Well, it was decomposing bodies. May the power of Christ compel this bitch. And no, it doesn't end there. They're not only into... that, but they're also a cannibal. They're sexually turned on by the idea of eating a dead bitch. Most people like butts or boobs, but this guy is just into dead people. Moving on. Now, their Twitter is a good example of Mortis's problems. There's not many tweets, but there's still quite a lot to take in. His Twitter is filled with posts about his suicide plan at the time, his psychotic delusions, and his wish to traumatize people by showing him either killing himself or cutting himself on a livestream. Him talking about his murderous urges, and of course some wonderful ableism and hypocrisy. He makes fun of people who don't speak fluent English, despite possibly having speech issues, maybe not knowing English as a first language, or simply not wanting to speak like that. However, Mortis isn't even able to spell the word vents or fucking without messing it up. I can't be the only one who thinks that that's pretty hypocritical. Next, the suicide and homicide talk. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this is to the point where we can get the authorities involved. Whether due to the talk of a full-on suicide plan, 
or for the wish to murder his sister. If any of you are knowledgeable in this field, feel free to comment below if this would be enough stuff to get the authorities involved and how we would do so. I really don't want this boy to hurt any more people than he already has. Now, the necrophiliac account isn't Mortis's first account. In 2018 through 2019, they had an account known as 70 Bullets. I'm pretty unaware of what was on the account, but a wonderful source of mine was able to give me some screenshots. While you look at these images, let me give you a brief summary of what 70 Bullets was. 70 Bullets was originally an impersonation account turned fanboy account dedicated to none other than Birdie. Yes, somehow Birdie is involved in this drama too, even if barely. They would obsess over him, drawing BDSM art of themselves and Birdie. Keep in mind, Birdie is a minor. At the time, he was 15 to 14. And Birdie never consented to this. According to event Mortis made, Birdie even blocked him over this. It didn't end with this, though. On the old account, Mortis would write things in their own blood. Massive trigger warning. I blurred the blood, but even so, if you're easily triggered by blood, please be cautious. Now, I have no fucking idea what they were trying to write. Their handwriting is garbage. I mean, granted, they were basically finger painting, but even then, the writing still sucks. Now, this video barely even scratches the surface of all of this. There is so, so much more relating to just dice, such as the other leader and the other helpers. I may make a continuation of this if anything pops up. Until then, please stay far away from these people for your own safety. If you want, feel more than free to share this video with others, as the more people this video can warn, the better this will be. Thank you for watching all the way to the end, and please, stay safe.